axial right triangle I want to talk about is the 30-60-90 right triangle, which has a 30-degree angle, a 60-degree angle, and then the right angle, or a 90-degree angle. Obviously, opposite the hypotenuse, we'll, uh, opposite the right angle, we'll call the hypotenuse. And then we have the short leg, which we'll refer to with the letter S. And then we have the long leg, which we'll use the letter L. If you go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, you take the length of the short leg. Hold on one second. If you go from the short leg, you take that value and you multiply it times 2. If you go from the hypotenuse to the short leg in the other direction, if you know the value of the hypotenuse, you take that value and you divide it by 2. If you, go, if you know the value of the short leg, you know the value of the short leg, let's say the short leg was had a length of four units, you take that value and you multiply it times the square root of three. So if the short leg was had a value of four units or a length of four units, the long leg has a length of four times the square root of three units. Conversely, if you go from the long leg to the short leg, you then divide by the square root of 3. And if you want to put those in equation form, what you can say is, well, let me change colors again, you can say that the hypotenuse equals the short leg times 2. You can say that the short leg, and that's if you know the short leg, if you know the hypotenuse, you can say that the short leg equals the hypotenuse divided by 2. And if you know the short leg and you want to find the long leg, you can say that the long leg equals equals uh, the long leg equals the short leg times the square root of 3. And if you know the long leg and you want to find the short leg, you say that the short leg equals the long leg divided by the square root of 3. So, again, if you know the short leg and you want to find the hypotenuse, you multiply by 2. If you know the short leg and you want to find the long leg, you multiply by the square root of 3. If you know the hypotenuse and you want to get to the long leg, what you do is first divide it by 2 to get to the short leg, then you take the value of the length of the short leg, multiply it by the square root of 3 to get the long leg. If you know the long leg, and you want to get the short leg, you take the length of the long leg, divide it by the square root of 3, knowing that you might need to rationalize your denominator, which we'll talk about later. And then if you, want, if you know the long leg and you want to get to the hypotenuse, you first get to the short leg by dividing by the square root of 3, then you take that length and you multiply it by 2 to get to the hypotenuse, knowing that your four equations are right here. The hypotenuse equals the short leg times 2. The short leg equals the hypotenuse divided by 2. The long leg equals the short leg times the square root of 3. The short leg equals the long leg divided by the square root of 3. And really, if you want, you could write a new equation that the hypotenuse equals the long leg divided by the square root of 3 times 